Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I am excited. Very excited and ignited and delighted because God has something in mind that he wants to say and I want to hear what it is. I believe that the Spirit of the Lord is speaking and I just believe that it's a life-changing word that will uh, bring forth manifestations in our life right now. Now we're talking about breakthrough. This morning God has just been really uh, putting that word before me breakthrough. One second. Let me turn this down just a little bit. God has really been putting that word before me. Breakthrough. My God. And there goes that clock of mine again. Saying it's time for a breakthrough. Breakthrough. God wants us to break through into some new places. Now we know the Bible says faith without works is dead. But God is so awesome. And I love how he takes those things that appear to be foolish to confine the wise. So. I just sense God is saying he wants to break us through. Now, somebody might say, what are you talking about? Sometimes breakthrough can be as simple as, let's say you didn't wash your dishes on yesterday. And you didn't feel like washing your dishes. And let's say today you got up and you still don't feel like doing your dishes. Breakthrough could be simply you putting works together with your faith today to believe that those dishes are going to be washed, that you're literally going to go in there and make yourself break through that mood that you're in, break through that uh, uh, kind of moment that you're in because you want to break through. Uh, let's say that a uh, breakthrough is uh, you need to make a phone call to someone, but you really don't feel like doing it. Now, uh, the thought came to you on yesterday, make that phone call, call such and such a person, but you didn't feel like doing it. Uh, thought came to you this morning, thought came to you not too long ago, make that phone call. You didn't feel like making that phone call, but breakthrough could be simply uh, you breaking through that moment deciding to go past your feelings and make the phone call. Breakthrough could be uh, you need to work on that book that you're supposed to be writing and you've not really been feeling it. But breakthrough could be you going in there and getting to the computer and uh, getting your materials before you and deciding to just start on it with one word. That's the breakthrough. So I'm excited today because God was showing me. It's like pumping weights. Uh, just say you go to the gym and you start out um, pumping five pounds. You start out doing uh, five pounds, exercising with five pounds. Well, because you did that pretty good, guess what? You can increase to seven pounds. You can increase to 10 pounds. Breakthrough, uh, according to the Holy Spirit, can look just like that. It's like God said, I will increase you more and more and more. At some point, the increase has to begin. At some point, we have to go to a new place. We have to go through that door. So today, there may be things that you really been needing to get accomplished and you not really felt in the mood. We've not been feeling it. And you know, God never told us to walk by how we feel, praise God, but he said walk by faith. And then the Bible said faith without works is dead. So that means that we have to do something. We just can't pray. Lord, I wish that, uh, I pray that dinner be ready uh, today. You know, when food is in there for you to cook. It means sometimes we may have to go in there and cook it. Uh, that may be the breakthrough that God is wanting you to do today. Although we recognize he can do other things too. So breakthrough. God is challenging us today. I just get a sense God desires for us today to really step out on it, that he wants to put his foot to the accelerator in your life and cause you to have breakthroughs in this month like no other. And meaning that we have to start somewhere. Somebody might start down here, but let's say today your breakthrough may be you need to go and put some clothes in the washer to wash out. Well, let's just say that 
you to deciding after watching this video, you're not just going to let those clothes stay there. You're going to put those clothes in the washer and let the washing machine wash those clothes. Then you're going to break through again. You're going to put them in the dryer and then you're going to break through again and you're going to fold them and put them in their proper place. Breakthrough. Meaning that today that you're saying enough is enough is enough. There's some things that I need to get accomplished. There's some things that I need to do. I need a breakthrough. Well, that's why I'm here because God said you got your breakthrough. He really you into their breakthrough. Just do it. Go for it. But the beauty of it is that when you break through, it's like a door that's open. And now possibility is open for you to break through another dimension. But it's easier because you broke through down here and now you're breaking through up here and you're breaking through up there. So I'm excited today. I'm delighted at the plan of God. And sometimes your breakthrough might be you have to break through men's opinion. Remember when blind Bartimaeus wanted his miracle and the people he was calling Jesus and the people say, it don't take all that. You don't have to praise God like that. You don't have to call him like that. But the Bible said he cried out the more. He broke through what those men said about him. So you got to break breakthrough all that noise that's out there on um, the static, all that static in the airways, you have to break through that and decide to go forward anyway. Praise him anyway. Call Jesus anyway. Do it right in the middle of it. Anyway, praise God. Get your breakthrough. Breakthrough, God says, is possible for you. He wants you to have your breakthrough. He wants you to lay claim to your breakthrough. He wants you to put some works with that faith today and get a breakthrough because this is just a, a beginning. This is just a foundation to where he wants to take you. It's amazing what God can do in a moment of time. It's amazing what can happen in your life when you decide to take God at his word. When you decide to believe the word of the Lord, it is amazing the things that will happen. When you decide to call those things that be not as though they were, meaning that you don't feel like calling those things. You don't feel like calling yourself the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. But break through those feelings. Do it anyway. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Praise God. I am the lender and not the borrower. Praise God. Break through those feelings today. Praise God. Well, we just want to get on, give a prophetic chat. And you know what? I receive this word as from the Lord in Jesus' name. And guess what? My life is no longer the same. I'm breaking through today into some new places. Praise God. This is I know that I know that I know. So now I got to go. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.